All right, so one of the things that's really unique about the Candy Creek Croaker, we're fishing with the four inch one right now, is, uh, it's a little bit hard to tell, I'm sure, but it has an extremely round uh, belly. And so what that does is I'm just gonna flip this out here and show you if I can get it to turn upside down, how, so, how easy it is to get it to turn back over. It's actually hard to get upside down, but basically if I put it in the water upside down, It just automatically flips right back over. That would have been nice. Was that a deep one? Oh, there he is. Not exactly what we were hoping for. Maybe last year's spawn. Fish can't resist this frog. Jason Barnes with Canning Creek Moles, and we're here with the Canning Creek Croaker. This is the three inch version. There's also a four, and we're looking at doing a three and a half and a four and a half. There's a couple things that are really unique about this bait. The first is, is how round the belly is. It's almost impossible to get it upside down, but if for whatever reason you do get it upside down, it's really easy to get it to turn right back up. It's just slow down your retrieve or stop your retrieve. It'll flip back over and you can go ahead and bring it in. We like to pour it in a two color. Um, I think it you know, really simulates what a real frog looks like. Uh, we've been out here today, I bet we've had, I mean we're not even fishing you know, prime type water, top water, but we've had at least a dozen bites. We've got a small one in the boat. Um, and they're coming up, these fish are coming up, I mean they're almost schooling on it, you know, anywhere six, seven fish coming up on it. The other thing that's really unique about this bait though, and uh, as you can notice, it basically the whole, uh, the bottom of the bait's designed after the whole of, uh, whole of a boat, and it really has kind of a twin, be uh, twin beam uh, down at the bottom, and then you'll notice that this area here catches air and it catches water and it causes additional agitation, and you can see by the side, um, it almost has like a, a rudder and what that does is not only does it help it run straight but it gives it almost like a rooster tail effect um, again just adding to the uh, agitation a little something different uh, the fish seem to uh, absolutely love this bait um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in the water do the best that we can to let you see what it looks like when it's running uh, it pops up almost immediately you can see I mean I can stop reeling start again stop start. It, it, it really does a great job of floating. Uh, there's no floating additive or anything added to this. It's just regular plastic. And this is in a really slow retrieve. It still has good action. Um, and then you can burn it in as well. The fish seem to be responding to that. But you can see that's a little bitty three inch frog. I'll hold it in my hand again in just a minute. But look at the amount of agitation that's for such a small bait. You know, it's smaller than the palm of my hand. I guess it's about a finger length. You know, it's a uh, three inches, but in reality, you know, that the actual bait itself is probably about an inch and a half, about an inch and a half in the legs. Um, it's a relatively small bait. Uh, I think the fish especially like it because it is small and it's different. Uh, that's the Caney Creek Croaker.